Tim Vitapka. I'm a heart surgeon at Good Shepherd Hospital and here to talk to you a little bit today about a new minimally invasive uh, valve surgery program that we've started at Good Shepherd Hospital. Uh, by utilizing some new instrumentation that has become available, uh, we have been able to start a minimally invasive valve program which allows us to replace or repair heart valve uh, in patients at Good Shepherd Hospital. Not everybody's a candidate for uh, the minimally invasive operation. We'll talk about that a little bit. But uh, the operation is called minimally invasive, but probably a more appropriate term would be minimal incision. Uh, it is still uh, very much an invasive operation. You still have to be on the heart and lung bypass machine. We still have to stop the heart during the operation. Uh, and there still obviously is recovery after the operation. But by utilizing differently placed incisions and smaller incisions and this special instrumentation, we're able to avoid opening the breastbone, which is one of the causes of the prolonged recovery in conventional heart surgery. Uh, patients who have had previous operations uh, on their heart, patients who have had previous lung surgery, patients who have various lung pathologies may or may not be uh, candidates for the minimal incision type operation, but uh, the operation has uh, been very successful for us. We've had uh, patients who have been able to return to work earlier, have a shorter recovery time, uh, and uh, have enjoyed a lot of success early on in our program. Uh, we started doing these operations in the minimally invasive technique a couple of months ago. Um, and uh, So if you've been told by your doctor or your cardiologist that you have a heart valve problem and that it may need to be replaced or repaired at some point, ask them if you might be a candidate for minimally invasive surgery.